Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with yet another Killing Voice Ration on this channel. Today we have Nell, or more specifically, Jungwan from Nell. Nell is a rock band I've never checked out or listened to yet in my life. And uh, yeah, Jungwan is their vocalist, so I'm assuming he's the only one here. And as far as we can tell from the title and the thumbnail, that is the case. Uh, I'm not sure if he is gonna perform solo songs or Nell songs. I'm not even sure if he has solo songs, so who knows. Uh, not me, <laughs> but we're gonna, you know, get into it and check it out. And uh, yeah, it's my first time reacting to his voice, to to their songs and so on. Let's get it. If you're new to the channel, hi guys, I'm Cruel. I react to K-pop every single day on here. And I also have special series. I react to Killing Voices a lot these days, right? Uh, a lot of people really like my Killing Voices, so I'm trying to do more. It's tough to do them because they're long, long videos and, you know, tough to record because I rarely have the time to do them. But uh, I hope I can catch up. And actually, there's really good news, really good news for everybody. Everybody that is not Korean. <laughs> they finally have subtitles, English subtitles, on every of the Killing Voices. As of today, at least. I don't know when they begin doing that. Definitely very recently, because the last one I checked out did not have that yet, which was the Park Jae-jung one. Um, so that is like a week or two ago. So yeah, I don't know. I went back on a lot of the other Killing Voices, and they all have English subtitles now. I'm not sure if it's actually 100% all of them, but the ones I checked out, which are like five or six I just went back to, all have English subtitles, including this one from Nell from not even last week, right? This is, I guess by the time you're watching this, it's uh, more than a week old, but by the time I'm recalling this, it's five days old, five, six days old, actually, sorry. Uh, this is from the 7th of September, and yeah, let's get it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more and if you like my rations, and also check out my Patreon if you're interested, but also actually shout out to my patreon lineup already of september that all of my supporters thank you so so much for the kitchen support and special shout out goes out to photoshop yatna mirs ribbons and Reese roller thank you guys let's begin with the killing voice of nil and as you guys know me i will pause sometimes but now that we have english subtitles i'm not gonna i'm not sure how that's gonna affect myself in the reaction like will i pause more to talk about what he's saying maybe will i pause less because i don't have to think about what he's saying maybe i don't know let's just start. watch it it's so cool they finally do that though finally do it i guess they realized how many people watch this nice no introduction okay <laughs> other than his name and that yeah it's jong one from nell okay one thing i want to do actually when did they debut 2001 oh my god how old is he how old is he? I don't know. Kim Jong Un. Forty? He doesn't not look like forty. Wow. Okay. I'm assuming he has solo songs then, right? But I don't know if he's performing solos or not. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Ooh. With a type of voice It gives me goosebumps right away It's also the instrumental though, it's amazing What a voice. Wow. I don't want to pause, but I want to say something. <laughs> I'm doing it after the song. Oh, said it? Okay. Oh man, I wish that was longer. That was such a good song. Sheesh. I am gonna do what I do sometimes when I watch these. I know. And it's, uh, I'm gonna like the song, so I, obviously on Spotify, so I know which ones are liked. 
And now we can actually see if this is a nil song or not. It is a nil song. Yeah. Doesn't even seem to be the title track or something. Huh. Anyway, amazing song. Oh, what I wanted to say as well, yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> um, his voice, I'm really in awe right now and in shock because his voice is a voice I personally a type, a tone, that I personally don't prefer in male vocalists, in general in vocalists. It's pretty high, it's pretty squeaky almost. Um, it at, at all doesn't sound like a 40-year-old voice, by the way, but it's not a type I usually prefer, but... That's why it shocks me so much that I actually am insanely in love with him right now. And yeah, I just want to hear more and see more. So let's go. One observation I can actually share with you guys though right now is that um, he is very contrary to what a lot of people do on this concept, on this show, uh, format, whatever, Killing Voice. A lot of people do really short segments of songs and they have a lot of one, uh, them. But he actually has none of them. He has no short segment. All of his segments are at least like what? At least one and a half to two minutes long. If not longer. So he almost performs the whole song. Which is actually not true because a lot of the songs are like four to five minutes. So essentially he performs half of the song. But they're really long songs. So, you know. That's cool to see though. I like that. 2001 by the way. Can't get over that. 20 years happy anniversary man and to you guys as well to your band four times around the sun is that the name of the song hmm. wow i like the instrumental already so piano focused Random side fact about me, the colors we have in the background here, the purple to orange, they actually my channel's colors, so kind of funny. The, the gradient. It's so clean. Oh. I'm just so impressed with this guy. Like, I'm sorry, I can't, like, I'm not vibing to this right now, but the reason why is because I'm so in awe. I literally can't process the, the, his voice. <laughs> literally, it's just his voice. I'm thinking about, uh, like, similar voices I've heard before, and I can't really think of one. I keep thinking of anime OST still for one reason or another. It's just kind of a voice that he has that fits that really well. And he sounds Japanese, which is weird to say, sound Japanese, uh, you, know, you sing Korean, like, weird, but he does sound that way, I don't know why. Maybe it's his voice, that is a voice that is more common in the Japanese scene, I don't know. <laughs> I, time spent walking through memories, 2008. This is, seems to be a slower song. He feels this so much. I'm just impressed. 
아직도 나의 손길을 느껴 오늘도 난 너의 흔적 안에 살았죠 Whatever <laughs> Try to make it a bit louder but not too much 나의 모습이 보여 아직도 I can't. <laughs> I don't know what it is. He's very surreal. It's it's like I'm taken into a different world, in a dream world, and and like it's a journey I'm living through right now, where there's not much to say or to like feel as an emotion, as a response to his singing and and the songs. It's just. You're experiencing it and you're like in the moment. You're like completely lost in the moment. You're completely drowning into the sound. And you're just so part of it and so like... It feels like something I watch from start to finish if I wouldn't pause right now, right? And then I just... After it's over, I'm like sitting there, I'm like... What just happened? And I have to think about that for like hours and then I like process it. That's kind of how it is. It's such a concert feeling. Wow. I rarely ever had this. Absolutely not. Like, this is super, super rare. Wow. This high notes. This guy. <laughs> Yo, okay, I begin to realize right now how amazing this is. Yo. There's tons of progression in, in the songs, by the way. Especially in this one we just heard. In the sound and in the vocals, too. That was a beautiful song just now. Uh, time spent when we were walking or something like that, it was, right? Drifting apart. Oh, ballad? Maybe? Who knows? <laughs> Slow, piano. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shut up. song already
e-guitar. Oh, I love it here. It works so well. That's like a transition. Oh, wow. I <sighs> Jesus. Dude, this is amazing. Whoa, whoa, whew. I couldn't breathe, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Like, in a way, I was about to say that can we please all just appreciate how amazing this format is, Killing Voice, and how many insanely good vocalists and singers Korea has, and them being willing to go on this type of format and, you know, sing live. So many songs in a row without pause. This is not easy, man. Like, you can't, you're, a, you're a decent singer, you're a good singer, you're a great singer, then you're a singer that can perform well on stage live, then you were a consistently good live singer. Then you're a singer that can actually go in this type of format. And then you're like probably a got here singer. So there's and a lot of the uh, guys and girls are, that on, are on here are already got here. But like so few selective people are suited for this type of thing, right? That on the one hand, I am worried we will ever like run out of people. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, on the other hand, there's so many I want to see on here, right? And there are so many you could put on here. There's great, like we had Jesse already doing it. Um, so I, I, my point was there was there's also amazing singers in the K hip hop world we could dive into if we ever had to. There's a lot of vocalists that are not even in the K pop world whatsoever, like So Young, for example, Lena Park, others, uh, Sonnet Son, like so many good vocalists that we could have on here that usually don't really have YouTube content much, right? At all. So it would propel them in a way, in, in like a direction that they don't even promote in, but it would be cool to see and just amazing to be in here, like for them to be on here. And there's others that we still haven't got to, like even the K-pop sphere that I think have to be on here at some point. Like I just, I want to see a, a few certain people on here so bad. And like one of them and probably my absolute, the, the one I want the most right now on this is probably Hillen from Sister. I feel like she's one of the best K-pop vocalists ever, and I feel like she she just has to be on here. I also would love to see Uji, um, of Bestie, Solji from EXID. There's a few really good ones. Yuju from G Friend, or now I guess, well she formerly G Friend, now a solo artist under Connect Entertainment. So potentially she could be on here. Like there's a few K-pop artists even I want to be uh, see on here, right? Even though they're obviously. I, not gonna lie, they are not on a level like, for example, Nell or uh, Jungwon here is, but it doesn't matter, man. I just want to celebrate vocals, and it's so, so good. Let's keep going. Man, I talk a lot. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The day before. So I just had to talk about that now. I know I could have done it at the end, but now it's out and I can focus on this. Right? It do be sad, yeah. Oh, I love the subtitles, dude. Finally. Is that a violin in the bank? Do they have a violinist? Do they? Tambourine. No violin though. Hmm. 
English adlibs. Surprising. Because he has almost no English words in his songs. A song about regrets and um, quite melodramatic, I would say. The vibe of this. To the instrumental. Ah! Oh. oh, I'm in heaven, dude. This is all that I can say. It's beautiful. Oh man, why does it have to end there? So painful. <laughs> 2006. Oh, wow. It's a lot of old songs so far. I think they had. I think they had an album this year, right? Didn't they? I'm wondering if they're gonna play the song here. If all of their songs are like this, I might just love them. <laughs> I might just love them. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, he's one of those vocalists, right? If you hear them live, they sound better live than on studio versions on CT. Like, literally, they sound better live. So, technically, their songs are not sounding like this because this is better than they sound like. <laughs> Wow. Another melodramatic vibe. Oh, it gave me goosebumps again. Jesus Christ. The back and forth there. Corona? Talking about Corona or talking about all season? I, I doubt it. What's he talking about? God damn it, dude, his voice. Oh, yeah, it's Corona. <laughs> I love when he does this. The high notes, basically. His high notes are amazing, wow. I feel 
feel like a lot of their songs are pretty melodramatic though. Some of them drift into like the breaking free from the melodrama, but a lot of them are very melodramatic, which is interesting, right? And also, for me personally at least, kind of a downside because I do like melodramatic music and I think it's a super cool genre that doesn't really get enough attention as much as it should probably. But I used to listen to a lot of melodramatic rock, especially years ago when I was really depressed and it was kind of my way of coping with that. Right? I am always a music guy in my life, always have been, used to play a lot of instruments and um, I... Okay, a lot is a bit too much. I used to play acoustic guitar and drums, but um, <laughs> I guess a bit piano, but not much. And I just kind of moved on from that melodramatic rock, though. And in a way where I am a bit self-conscious about it, or not, what's the right word? I have like, what's the, what's the word for that? People believe in like, superstitious, is it superstitious? Yeah, I think it's superstitious. Like, if people are afraid of black cats, for example, because it's unlucky or something like that, right? Um, anyway, yeah, it's superstitious. I think that's the word. That I moved on from the melodramatic rock after or, like, in the same way when I improved from my depression and I kind of moved uh, past it or, like, moved on from it. I don't really have it anymore. So... I connect both together because uh, I used to do it so much together, right? So that's why I guess I can't really listen to melodramatic music anymore because it gets me sad and in a way nostalgic that is not positive for me. That makes sense, right? That's why I have a hard time sometimes listening to this music and potentially that could be a reason why I would not playlist some songs from, from Nell, right? If I, I feel that way. Yeah. I think that's really pretty fine. And yeah, sorry again for pausing so much. Oh. Ah, there it is. Beautiful Jeopardy. That's the album I was talking about, I believe. I don't know if that's seeable, but oh my god, the goosebumps. Yo. Wait, I just noticed, does he have the same yin and yang necklace as I do? <laughs> it looks very similar. <clears throat> It's a beautiful song. Makes you think about all kinds of things in your life. Wow.
I don't know why I suddenly look out for how he pronounces the words in Korean. It, like, my, my brain is drifting so much right now. What the heck? <laughs> because I'm gonna study Korean soon, and I just noticed that there's not a lot of P, 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 P sounds at all that he's singing, at least right now. I never noticed that. Uh, I never started learning Korean yet, so I don't know if that's actually a thing for Korean. Uh, yeah, I just noticed though, for some reason. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is going on there? Like, this song got me somewhere there. Jesus. One dimensional. Let's par. Same, same. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jong Jongwon. Was it Jongwon? I think. Dude, the singing was so different than his talking was. just got the note there is quite deep actually i was thinking the whole video if he can also go deep with his vocals he never showed that so far and i think there was just a note that was pretty deep i wonder if that was by accident or if he actually can sing quite deep here where did that come from <laughs> It'd be like that, man. It'd be like that. sad song by the way but uh, this is interesting he has a sad song but it doesn't make me sad <laughs> you too guy that was a cool outro huh. i'm so happy they have English subtitles now man <laughs> whoever whoever is responsible for that and whoever makes them as well huge respect and thank god finally <laughs> because i love watching these and where's the playlist there it is i quickly look up if like does the, even the iu one have it just like the first one kind of right yes it has oh that's so cool finally 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 i can finally watch i'm probably gonna rewatch all of them on my own time that I've watched already, and a lot of them I have not watched, like Punish, 10 cm like Sungyol, Gummy, and so on. There's so many I have to watch for sure, and they will at some point, I hope. Um, finally have subtitles. Oh man, let's go. Ooh, that makes me actually kinda want to check out um, if the Killing Verse on Dingo Freestyle also now have English subtitles or not. Right, I mean, I know that Justice has, because, I mean, what's the recent one? Where is it? There was one recently. Kind of ish. Some Simba. I doubt that. I, I, I very much doubt that. Yeah, there's no 
Okay, so we are lucky as, as K-pop fans, <laughs> as vocal fans. They actually did it on this channel. Apparently, I, I'm, I'm thinking it's because they looked at the audience, right? We can look it up on YouTube. If you're like you yourself as an uploader here, you can see who watches from which country. So I'm assuming they saw that a lot of international fans watch these. And uh, comparatively, especially to the K-Hip-Hop ones, because I mean, K-Hip-Hop is not that international at all, sadly. But um, anyway, thanks so much for watching my Killing Voice reaction to... My reaction to Killing Voices... Bleh, my reaction to Nels Killing Voice. <laughs> Thank you so much. Or especially it's Jong-Wan, right? It was uh, Jong-Wan, yeah. Kim Jong-Wan of Nel. Uh, amazing songs, especially early on. A lot of them were pretty positive too. It turned out to be a lot more melodramatic sad songs towards the ending. Kind of had a negative downwards trend in terms of how the mood was in the songs at least. All performances and all vocals were amazing though. So don't understand that wrong. I liked all of those songs. I just felt like uh, earlier on the songs were more upbeat and like poppy. A little bit at least. And this is an amazing video. But also my ration is so long that I'm just gonna shut the heck up now. And end it here. Thank you so much for watching. You can find my other Killing Voice reactions, which are about 10 now, which uh, I'm gonna be reacting to more for sure, but a lot of them I already did. Uh, a lot of my favorite ones, at least my favorite artists, like IU, Jesse, Amy, Ailey, and so on. Um, you can find them in the pinned comment. And I will, I guess, also create a playlist for Nell reactions, but this one is gonna be my first in there, so yeah, just so you know. Have a nice day. Peace.